guys, there is nothing like a new lip liner. Can I just say, after so many years of being obsessed with Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, I'm now a Clé de Peau 01 girly. Retractable lip liners are the one. Good morning, I'm just doing my makeup. The house is a little bit chaotic today because I have the builders doing my spare room. I have my aunt and a gardener downstairs in my courtyard. And I'm just here doing my lip liner. <laughs> We've got quite a lot on the cards this week. I have my friend Roxy's birthday lunch tomorrow. I am going away on Thursday. I'm going to Venice with Jack and his mum. Oh, before that, on Tuesday, I have Vic and Susie over for the day, so I'm gonna make them lunch. I need to pack for Venice. I need to organize the spare room, organize the bathroom that I showed you last week. That's literally, I can't even walk in the bathroom. There's just stuff piled in there. And tonight I'm going for dinner at my mum's house. I think she's got about 15 people around. So I need to be on form for that. I'm going to see my grandma. <gasps> that reminds me, I need to look somewhere for my grandma's birthday soon. If anyone has any ideas, let me know. Because we need to be able to talk. A lot of problems with restaurants in London, like fancy restaurants, is that you can't really hear people. People. and it's fine if it's like a few of you but we want like we want our grandma to be able to hear all of us and there's no adults by the way it's just my sister her boyfriend me and Jack taking my grandma for dinner my cousins are away everyone's away so it's a very special birthday for my grandma I also have quite a few new things to show you that I've ordered for summer, things that I know are gonna sell out for autumn that I've got my hands on. And I also did a little pajama order as well. Ugh, my hair is so greasy, but I'm really trying to use less heat on it. So let's try and judge this out. Oh no, I didn't make the bed today. <laughs> I actually forgot. Let's try this R and Co dry shampoo. I've never tried it before. I played tennis this morning, so I took off all my rings. So let's put them all back on. Little jasmine ring from Raimi. This is a new little baby from Monica Vinader. Eliza from Raimi. My little Cartier. Another Cartier and Yvonne Leon. Let's see what's happening downstairs. Okay, dookie. Oh, what are we doing? So I have a full admission to make, and that yeah. when I made these, yeah. I hadn't done much gardening yet yeah so i didn't realize that actually the, the water needs, needs to come out got it just got my aunt made this beauty yeah it looks a bit slushy i was exactly. actually wondering well, it's, it's never dried the hole. yes well that's the problem <laughs> i basically forgot the holes oh i love that um, part they're so cute those two we got a little yeah. white lavender i love it that's downstairs let's see what's going on upstairs as well i live for this jug by the way hi john did you win Oh, no, I didn't win. Shame. My tennis is not up to scratch. Oh, it looks great in here. Guys, everyone's doing their thing in the house. And I'm just hiding out in here because it's the only place I feel safe. And I just decided whilst I was putting in that dry shampoo that I am desperately in need of a haircut. Hi, I'm wondering if um, David has any availability today for a haircut and blow dry. Could he do six, actually? Five. Yeah, that's great. Okay, book the haircut because I was just looking at these ends thinking <sighs> they need to go. But I've actually done a little bit of shopping on Lily Silk and I want to show you what I got. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to properly try them on and style them so we can get a feel of what each piece actually is. And I think that's definitely my best way of looking at new pieces is like properly styling them. Here is my little haul of things. Ooh pretty. We're gonna start this haul off strong with an absolute staple, a black silk shirt. Now I have the navy one of this, however I raved about it so much that my little sister came into my wardrobe and stole it and I haven't seen it since. I'm not actually joking. I have not seen it. She wore it for her birthday. Haven't seen it since. So sisters for ya. But anyway I got another one. I actually got a little black this time which I think is much more my style than navy anyway so that's fine. So Lily Silk use the most amazing fabrics. They use 100% natural premium fabric. So this is Mulberry Silk. The cashmere pieces that I bought are Mongolian cashmere. Lily Silk has really affordable investment pieces. I've been wearing their pieces for maybe the past like five years. Literally since I discovered them I've just been hooked. And their packaging is recyclable as well so you can do like a pack 
package sleeve or you can do a gift box. Anyway, so this is the little black top that I got. It's perfect. It's the perfect size. I will leave my sizes down below. It feels so dreamy. I can't even tell you. Every year, all I wear throughout winter, autumn, winter, Lily Silk Cashmere. Like their cashmere is the most affordable, best quality cashmere. I can't even tell you. I think I've worn their cashmere sets for the past four years consistently every single time. You know how I'm wearing my tracksuits all the time right now? In winter, it gets to the Lily Silk Cashmere sets and they always sell out. And I'm really, really am keeping my fingers crossed that this season they bring them out in more colors because I have all three colors that they come in. By the way, I do think they get the colors absolutely dead on. So I got this cardigan because I thought this I'm going to wear pretty much every single day. I've always wanted a cardigan like this with a really nice thick collar. Really cozy, but also still looks really formal. Do you know what I mean? Like I'd be very happy to go to a meeting wearing this um, cardigan or even this like outfit. This is the full fit. I've literally paired it with some black flats, jeans, a little black tee underneath, black bag. I feel like this, this is a win, this cardigan with the little pockets. Let me show it to you also with the buttons done up because I actually, I personally would wear it with the buttons not undone. But let's see what this looks like. Oh, this looks great too. That looks really good. I do prefer it with the buttons done up because I feel like it's more of a look. The rib detailing, it's just so beautiful. Look at these stunning wooden buttons and the cute little pockets oh my gosh you guys okay i keep seeing cable net jumpers all over tiktok when i see like quiet luxury tiktoks and stuff we all know i'm not quiet luxury but the cable net thing has just drawn me in like oh i think this is beautiful i can't tell you how soft this is i want to sleep in this forever the quality is so good i can't even tell you i'm gonna put in a picture of my lily silk cashmere sets that i wear to death you need to get them like if you don't have them already because i think i've literally convinced every single person that follows me to buy them and also like my friends my family everyone if you don't have one now is the time because they sell out every year but anyway this is the little jumper that i just think is pure perfection. One of my friends is looking for Greek vibes bridesmaids dresses and I think I found the most perfect dress that fits her brief. Side note, she also wanted pastel colors so look what I found on Lily Silk. Okay, wait for it. Isn't this perfect? Like, look at the little snatch waist situation we got going on. We got enough flow to dance and move and enjoy. I feel like this is perfect. I love the bottom of the dress. I feel like it's really giving fairy vibes. Their materials are so breathable, like so buttery smooth. I can't even tell you. Look at these details, the little ruching up here. You can pretty much wrap the ribbon around as many times as you want, like a little belt or you can just leave it entirely and have all that ruching showing but I loved I just love the gathered waist I think it's really special their silk shirts are so versatile and I kind of had in mind wearing one like this I love love die for a striped shirt this is a little blue and white striped one and I kind of envisage this as more of a south of France vibe I'm going back to the south of France in a few weeks and I thought this would look great oh it does it does it does I thought it would look great with some little linen shorts like I love how this looks I feel like this is just really classy very elegant Hotel du Cap vibes I'm pairing it with this little Celine right now which I think kind of works just like the blue and white and a little bit of the red in there that's really cute can I just say the fit of these shirts is what makes them so versatile like I can wear it as a throw over the top of my outfit like you just saw with a black one I can tuck it in look at the sleeve length for once a sleeve isn't drowning me. Like it's really, they get petite sizes like so, so, so good. Oh, and by the way, I have a Lily Silk discount code, which you can use, of course. It is linked on the screen right now and I will link it down in the information box below. Would highly recommend using my discount code. Obviously, we'll get you some money off. Does anyone remember this dress from last year that I bought a year ago? I think literally almost to the month. Okay, <laughs> wait, because it's come out in another color and me and you may need to have some words. Yours so vain. You probably think this song is about you. I literally can't sing so much that the camera went out of focus. It was like, no, I can't do this. <laughs> Guys, I have no words for this dress. Oh my gosh, the little halter vibe with the yellow and the white. Like, this is just pure perfection. If I had to pick a color for this dress to come out in, this would be the exact color I picked. It is the perfect pastel silky buttery yellow are you okay because i'm not okay wow lily silk like you did it again this is such a perfect dress like 
I'm gonna be wearing this in South France. Oh, maybe I should take it to Venice with me, actually. It's literally perfect. I'm not over this. I feel like we should all just stare at it and take a moment. It's so classy. I'm gonna turn the brightness down so you can see it in all its, oh yeah, there you go. Oh my gosh, like, no, I'm, I'm obsessed. Oh, you can see the mess over there. Let's ignore that, whoop. <laughs> this is an absolute must. And if you're not a fan of yellow, which I don't know why you wouldn't be because it's the most perfect yellow, but if you prefer darker colors, Lily Silk, please consider this my official application for the dress in black. I did have this robe, <laughs> and you may have seen me wear this multiple times before, and then miraculously it just went missing, and I have one person to point a finger at. You know how this works. Actually, I'm not sure if she took it, but maybe she did. That's honestly what happens to most of my clothes that go missing. It's e it just gets eaten in the sisterhood, you know? <laughs> anyway, this is the best little silk robe. I also have the matching pajamas and I have the matching eye mask. So I have the whole little set and it's just so soft and perfect. And like this yellow, I have to say the lily silk colors are just dead on like they really nail the shades that they get whoever's picking the shades and approving them like i salute you because they are perfect guys my hair is a situation that i've decided we have to wash today <laughs> so it's going up we're going to pilates now i'm obsessed with my new little straw tote bag from other stories i think it's around 60 pounds and it's so good it's got little handles and long handles and then we're gonna go to the office wash our hair and get ready for family dinner I was just about to leave and I'm wearing this really cute little top from Faithful. It's actually a bit not that sunny so I feel kind of silly wearing this. I think we should change. I have little Misoma hoops on and this Soro necklace but I think I know what I want to wear. I'm just gonna go with a little Dior top and a Skims new bra. By the way if you don't have these bras get them in your life. I did not own any ugly bras, no offense to this bra, until I tried this bra and it's so comfortable that I don't even care that it's a granny bra. This looks a little bit more weather appropriate because it's kind of kind of thick this tea. Let's put on some lipstick and then we can go. Okay on the agenda today is I need to get Jack a present that I have in my mind that I want to get him. I hope they have his size. I'm gonna go to Laura Piana. I also want to go and return these shoes. What else is on my agenda today? <gasps> I need to do clothes alterations. <laughs> Got my fuel, y'all. This is literally the best mug of all time. I'm in love with her. Hi, how are you? I'm picking up a parcel under Amelia. <laughs> Girl, I used to think the lyrics girl. were Top Shop Girl. Erin number two, going and doing this little return. Let's go. Okay, I did my little return exchange. I actually got these instead. These little Chanel sunglasses. They've got the camellias on the back. They're really cute. I am obsessed with these. Look how cute they are. <laughs> I love them. Oh my gosh, it is so great today. But next on the agenda is Sloan Street. Do not go into Chanel. Do not. This errand has failed because they're ready on winter here. Yes, success. I don't think I have time to go and alter my clothes. <laughs> Altering clothes always takes up so much time by trying them. Try them on and you change and you put the pins and not the pins. So that's not gonna happen today. We did not have time for that, but all in all very successful. Three out of four errands off the to-do list. Now I was gonna put a car wash in to this errand because my car is disgusting, but um, that's, that's not happening today either. So, okay, we've just striked that off the list to make us feel better about ourselves. Oh my God, he's just so cute. Hello, how are you? Oh, look at your sweet little eyes. You wanna come out with me? Good morning guys. It's haircut day today. I'm so excited. Look at this little scraggly cat. I mean that is just gross. I really left it too long this time. I'm so excited. Can I just say that it is a relatively sunny day but it's so cold and it's the 1st of August. And look I bought this jumper for winter. For autumn winter vibes. And I'm wearing it in August. But at least it's 
pretty. I feel like it's also a vibe because it's kind of like a coat. I wasn't really sure what to wear to the hairdresser. I'm literally wearing a black tank, black and Nola leggings, and my new Lily Silk cardigan that you can get your hands on with my discount code. I am also waiting for Vic and Susie who are coming around for lunch. I need to go actually and get some salmon. I want to go to the fishmonger. I'm going to make them Persian rice and salad as well. I've already set the table downstairs. I have my cleaner coming this morning to like make the house super nice even though look I've already made it like really neat. I mean that's my suitcase of Venice because we leave in a couple of days and it's like half packed right now. Sometimes it hurts and So excited for today like I feel like hair has memories and the more you cut it the better oh my god that's disgusting I'm so sorry I keep showing you my ratchet ends oh I can't wait to get rid of them goodbye I hope everything's running on time because I literally have like a 15 minute window between leaving the hairdresser and going and letting in Vic and Susie so I've literally planned this day like back to back I actually had my haircut booked for the afternoon like when I called them and then I was like I don't want to be rushed I'd rather like see them later and then have no time limit of like when we can hang out you know Guys, you know what? I always bump into my mum in the hairdresser. <laughs> Sounds like she's always there. She is kind of always there. But right now, she's on the plane with Leo. I'm gonna put in a picture. She is taking Leo on his first flight. And they're going to South of France. Guys, look! Healthy and fresh and short, actually. It's like really, really short for me. I feel like a new woman. Oh my gosh, this is so much better. I have sticky lip gloss on and all the little hairs from <laughs> my hair got stuck to my lips and my face. Very annoying. Look! Oh my god, look how much healthier. Look at those fresh ends. Yes! My plan now is to go home, marinate some salmon for lunch, and just make sure the house is looking spick and span for Vic and Sue's to come round. I'm so happy it's a nice day because we can kind of like hang out in my little courtyard as well. Oh, yes, because it's literally been raining every single day. <laughs> every single day. Oh. The gang is here! I'm so excited! Vic oh. literally just walked in. Look and Sue's! And by the way, we're literally all in the same leggings. Are we? Yeah. Are we all? I don't know. That. The I got that old one. Me and Vic has the, have the wrap ones. I don't need the extra curve. They're the best. I don't need the extra curve. What? No, it hugs and sucks. <laughs> it does. Mm. It really sucks you in. So it's nice. So nice. Where is this from? This is a funky shop. Mm. Oh my god, guys, I'm so happy. How fun is just like discussing our outfits as soon as we walk in? <laughs> Oh, okay, I need to show you around yeah, there. Vic, are these are your tiles that I copied. Oh, really? The Wait, same ones. No, these were the yeah. bricks yeah, these were that the I bricks. copied from your, your same, house. Same yeah, 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 yeah. Though. These are cornstone. Oh, Where were yours from? Right, no, no, you know what happened? Alex gave me, I love him so much, gave me a little sample of yours and I copied oh, the colour. Tinky, do you have really FOMO? Really yeah, Wait, you really what? do. This is um Jasmine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's Vic's so, like, first time in the room. Everything is so sumptuous. She just knew we'd both just swoon. I love it so much. I'll Same. have this one. Of oh, course you will. <laughs> <laughs> Chanel smiled on this, it, wasn't it? it Your new Chanel looks like you can fit a lip gloss and that's it. I yeah. did a what's in mm. her bag. Did you? Yeah, my what's in her bag? Oh my god, I need to catch yeah, up. lip products, a hotel room key, and a sharpened down lip liner. Yes. <gasps> oh my god, you're wearing Raimi. I am. I just noticed that's when you turned to the side. Oh my god, Suze! They're my favourite summer band. earrings. This oh is my god. summer. Like, I like a rainbow hoop. Oh my and god. A little pink ring. So cute. These ones are like. Apps, oh, I'll hold it, everything. Oh, they were actually remind me of you, you know. I wear them literally so much. Such I just love stacking. They're the best thing to stack. 
Oh, I love that you love them. You need to, I need, you make, make me want to wear them all. What else can I show you guys? So yeah, this is the shroom. Now you've seen it all. Yeah, yeah, open, open. But I love how you're asking and me and Sue's come into your closet and we're like, what can we steal? Me and you remind, we're like slightly uh, feral. In this yeah, room. we're actually feral. It reminds me of me when I was five and you go into other kids' playrooms. And yes, like, <gasps> so many new toys. Oh my, oh my That's God, Bobby has a garage. <laughs> this is so fat. How cute is that one? I got it in Bistol. Yeah. Like years ago, yeah, that is a find. I know, wow. it's so I cute. This is the one I went for. It's like I knew, just knew there was good vibes coming from here. Like new babies, oh, pardon. Have you got any new babies? Any new babies? I don't think I do, you know. Oh, actually, this is a new little fun baby oh, from Longshot. So Isn't it cute? cute. I so it. sweet. Do you? Love I love it. it. It's so cute. It's I actually so need so to wear cute. her. She's a cute little new baby. Oh, oh sorry. Susie yeah, just tried these on and I was like, they suit you way better. You can have them because no, I was going to sell them. You can't let me have these. That's no, but Suze, I genuinely, well. they've been in my pile to sell. And I, the justification of buying the other ones was that I was going to sell these. But I'd rather they go to a happy home. No, they know. really suit you. Yeah. You're they suit you so much. <laughs> Backs. <laughs> what do they call it now? Like <laughs> sunglasses. Mon Venmo. Venmo. <laughs> oh my god, yes, Venmo. Venmo. All the Gen Z TikTokers talk about Venmo. Yeah. What is it? I don't understand. I, I guess it's I just understand. like when you transfer money. Because yeah. I saw this Gen Z TikTok girl. Oh my god, it was the funniest TikTok. It was like a gun noise. And she was like me hiding from the gunshots until I remembered I Venmoed him for a pizza to like share a pizza and then she like jumps in front of the gun and she's like like shoot me, shoot me. And I was like, what? I need to show you this Gen Z girl. She is so funny. Just the humor is so different to oh, it. Anyway, me that taught me, it made me feel old, but that yeah. taught me what Venmo was. <laughs> <laughs> this is what my mum feels like when yes, I talk, talk about stuff in front of her. And we're like, like, oh my God, slay queen. <laughs> <laughs> Like, what are you talking about? Yeah, my cousin were talking the other day and I could just see my mum's face, like, glazed. <laughs> <laughs> Lunch is served. Got nice. a little salmon situation. Nice. Salmon, rice. This is all I've ever wanted in my shroom. It's just like getting ready with the girls in here. It's so fun. Oh my skirt. Goodness. Did you have that made? Yeah. My little skirt chair skirt. <laughs> this is so cute. Ooh, my chair has a skirt. I'm not sure why we're all putting on so much makeup to be honest, but why not? I just well, need a, I'm just so for the vibes. I've got my lips back. Bleeding me dry like a goddamn. You know what I'd love for us all to do mm. is to go to like a concert together. Oh my gosh, yes. I would freaking love that. Where should we go? Oh my god, I have the most amazing concert I'm going to actually next oh, week. What, what one? I don't know if you guys like the Bombay Bicycle Club. I definitely yeah, know of them, them, but I don't think I Wait, let me oh, look at it on my well, Spotify. You don't have the I'm gonna ask Vic to do what I did with Susie and pick my favorite, what did we even call it? Like my favorite bags Best from my wardrobe? Rates my, rates my handbags. It's also really funny that we're all just like in black leggings today. Like Watching. what? Normally Vic is like in heels. So this was one of my top ones, if I remember correctly. Yes. I just, I'm obsessed. Then we had this one. Oh, I love the yellow. I love that I'm in black. I was in black the last time right. I came here and tried this on as well, but a cardigan because winter. And it still bangs. It's such a good bag, isn't it? Obsessed. You know what I do wish with that bag, though? I wish mm. I could, like, take it more places. What do you mean? Because, mm. like, when I travel, I just, I keep wanting to pack it, but it's like a city bag. <gasps> oh my god, she's the most fun. Cool. Disco it's like, marks, guys. It's like peach champagne, isn't it? It's it's so cute. That. I need that. Where do I get this Ooh, from? Manage. I'm not oh sure. I got guys, it in May. Did you? Got it's it a spot. really fine mist. Yeah, but I just like that it's called cream skin. It just makes you feel like <laughs> you've got cream on. I need, I need, the, well, guys, we all collectively need this. Isn't cream it? skin mist from the niche. I'm going to order it. It's great on planes. How fun is that noise? Oh, shit. Sorry. We just filmed a really funny TikTok for Susie. It was so cute. <laughs> this is I a Kardashian audio. We're like, okay, guys, we're back.
I went Did you miss her. us? Because we missed you. I actually can't believe the things that the Kardashians <laughs> say sometimes that end up being like trending audios. They do it's it so on purpose. Funny. Do you I'm think going... so? I think I so too. love watching the Kardashians. Not as a fan, but like, do you like as a marketing yeah, girly? Like, yeah. I am obsessed. They're so clever and they're everything so is very intentional. Like, yeah. they take things that they're critiqued for, like the salad shaking, and then yeah. they'll just. Start shaking their yeah. salads. I love a good salad shake. And that's not a euphemism. Shaking their salads. <laughs> <laughs> I can't shake. Sorry. <laughs> we don't have enough salads. Shaking shake. their salads. <laughs> Vic and Susie just left. My baby needs some attention, don't you, baby? Oh, you want attention? Because we were upstairs hanging out for such a long time, weren't we? You want attention? You want attention? You want to tell me a secret? Oh, a secret. I love secrets. I love secrets. So we got some tidying up to do. That was such a nice day. I have to say, I used to host way more. Like you guys know, like when I lived in my flat, my first flat that I moved into, I hosted way more and I just somehow after COVID, we don't say that word anymore, but somehow after that situ, I just got out of my hosting groove. And I, I need to get back into it, to be honest. Like it's so fun. I don't know what happened. I just got less confident in my cooking and in my hosting skills. I need to get back into it. I'm gonna try and host like once a month or something like that. Do you think, do you think that's a realistic plan? That's a good plan. How beautiful is it looking out here with all the little things that my aunt planted for me? Do you love it here, Muffin? Look how beautiful. Guys, something about white lavender, let me tell you. I still cannot believe that it's August and I'm sat outside in a jumper, but maybe it's because I'm always cold. I don't know, but I just like feeling warm temperatures. Anyway, I'm gonna sit outside, do a little bit of stuff I have to do on my computer ready for this week. But I actually, by the way, look at this. This is Idil. It's a um, lab-grown diamond concept brand. And they have like the earring and this stud is sold separately. And this stud is sold separately to this little attachment. Really clever. Like, I love their pieces. Anyway, it's just distracting myself because I need to get on my laptop. So I'm just gonna enjoy being outdoors with my little pink baby. You guys, Dior have very kindly sent over a couple of things that I can borrow and wear for my trip to Venice. Look how cute this little book tote is. And I have the matching Lady D Joy bag from their new collection. No one's worn this yet. This is the first time anyone's wearing it. I'm so excited. It has like a mini strap and long strap. And I have a feeling after this, I'm really gonna want a Lady D Joy bag. I've already put my book in here and also my little Monica Vinader jewelry case, which is so cute. I'll link this down below. It's great for jewelry travel on the go. I kind of want their bigger size because how beautiful is this colour? Hi the floofs! Are you happy to be in the park? Do you want a little treat floofs? Here you go. Oh my gosh look how big that treat is. Whoa! <laughs> oh my gosh it's 7 30 p.m and i'm walking the dog like how nice is this summer is just the best i love summer so much but in summer even though i'm wearing a jumper i don't even care like i just love it being light in the evenings i just dread the winter anyone else like every time i have this feeling of like oh my gosh i love being able to walk the dog at 7 30 at night like that is so nice like it's so bright outside and then all of a sudden i have this fear that just like comes over me and i'm like oh my gosh soon it's gonna be winter and it's gonna be dark at three BM. <laughs> no. Good morning, guys. I look. <laughs> I look like it's November. This is no joke. Oh gosh. I'm just going to take little baby, little bub. I'm gonna take him to his little holiday home before I go away to Venice. Guys, I think I made a mistake and it's taken me all summer to admit this <laughs> to myself and it's such a first world mistake that I don't even want to like say it aloud because it's actually just a stupid organizational error on my part. I think it's like a bit of like COVID thought. Does anyone have this? It's like post COVID thought brain. Like you think a bit differently after COVID. Sorry, I look absolutely rough today. But anyway, I don't know about you, but like, okay, this is a good example of post COVID thought brain. When I was doing up my house, I put my most thought, my most effort. I put the biggest room as my bedroom. Like everything was about my bedroom, my bedroom, my bedroom, because it was like post COVID brain where all we had done 
for months and years was hang out in our bedroom so that kind of like altered my decision that was just like a minor example now that we're like able to travel in and out of the country so easily i feel like my post-covid thought brain has been like okay let me plan loads of little like three four day trips as opposed to staying in one place for a long time it just means a lot of like traveling back and forth i think in future my non post-covid brain i'm going to group things together and like plan longer trips rather than loads of little trips i feel like little trips are fun when it's like a random city break like that is the vibe like when i went to budapest with my sister like maybe five years ago how long ago was that i can't even remember but when i did that we did that like over the course of a week and that was so cute it's not even a bad mistake these trips have been like so 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 amazing it's so beautiful and sometimes i haven't even like unpacked my suitcase i just like left it packed for a week done my laundry put it back together and then gone the next week so next time i think i'm gonna like group everything and like just be a bit more organized and structured with my summer holidays I, I think that is the vibe it sounds so weird to be talking about summer holidays when i'm literally what is this what oh my gosh you know sometimes you have to go through something and they they have those two bollards either side and it's like a really tight squeeze with your car someone's got stuck someone has got stuck oh that is orcs oh my gosh that is so funny okay now it's my turn i always do it pretty slowly and i always hold my breath it's like breathing in but for the car so i'm going to venice tomorrow my flight is at 8 30. i think i'm gonna get to the airport around six i am a newfound airport dad if anyone has any airport dad tips please let me know because i'm never missing a flight again by the way i only do it risky when i'm traveling alone because i don't want to make anyone else around me like feel orcs and pia and jack who i normally travel with are like airport dads so i just go along their rules i only ever risk it when i'm alone and i've only ever missed a flight once but i'm never missing another flight okay we are airport dads now you understand hello do you understand? No, oh, I dropped Yuki and all that I have left in this disgusting, disgusting dog chair. Literally, I'm going straight to the car wash now. So I'm going to say bye to y'all and I will see you next Sunday, 9.30 with another vlog. I hope you have a wonderful start to August. Bye guys.